today on Crafty Friday, I'm going to show you how to make this lovely little duct tape wallet and it has a bow on the other side. Oh my gosh. This side has three pockets. Then we have the billfold, and then on the other side with the bow, there's a pocket on the top here. So as you can see, this isn't a bifold or trifold. It doesn't fold in any way, so it's kind of a half wallet or a mini wallet. I don't really know the correct terminology if this even has a name, but it's based off of this wallet that I bought my boyfriend from Fossil. I just like that it's very small, compact, and convenient to carry around. P.S. If you want to see a beauty DIY for how to make your own nail polish colors using eyeshadow, then just go on over to my Sarah Lynn fashion channel because the video is on there and check it out Please give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoy duct tape crafts and want to see more in the future now without further ado Let's get into the tutorial First I'm going to construct the two main pieces for the shell of the wallet I have the first one complete, the second one's going to be the exact same size and it's going to be constructed the exact same way for this, you'll need to cut three pieces of duct tape that are four inches long. I'm cutting each piece with my X-Acto knife and a ruler just to make it nice and precise. I'm overlapping the second four inch strip ever so slightly to that first one, and I'm cutting it to match the height. Next, I'm peeling up those two pieces, and I'm going to match the width of that first panel. It's in between two and a half and three inches wide. I'm going to fold over this right side, fold it over just as much as you need to match the measurement of the first panel. Then take your third strip of duct tape that's four inches long, and you're just going to set it on top of what you just did. So just overlap it a little bit if you need to, and set it on top of there slowly and carefully so you don't get any nasty creases. You'll need to repeat this so that you have two like I do. And it's okay if they're not perfect, you can fix it up a little bit later. As you can see here, I'm just comparing the width and just making them a little bit more uniform by trimming a tiny bit of tape off of the one panel. Now you can see here that they're more twin-like. After your two main panels are complete, you're going to start working on the longest pockets. Going off this fossil wallet, you can see that the tallest pocket is about three and a half inches. And when I flip it over, there's one the exact same height on the back. So again, we're going to make two panels, but this time they're going to be used for pockets. For this step, you'll need six pieces of duct tape total that are three and a half inches long. I'm putting a black pocket on one side and teal on the other, so that's why I have different colors. But you're going to repeat the same exact steps for these pockets as you did for the main shell panels and then peel that whole thing up and you're going to just fold the one side over slightly make sure that they're the exact same width as the first panels that you made then you're going to lay your third piece of tape on top of that to cover up all the rest of the stickiness just go slow and carefully now i've done the same thing with my teal pieces i'm flipping them over to the sticky side I'm folding one edge over to about the middle, and it did get a little creased, but it's okay because I'll be able to hide that. Now I'm setting my third piece on top of that to hide the rest of the stickiness. Now I'm going to make two more pocket panels, so I'm going to cut three pieces of duct tape that are approximately three and a fourth inches tall, and then the other one's going to be about two and three fourths inches tall. Here's my three inch pocket which is the same width as everything else we've already done. And then here is my two and three fourths inch pocket. Again, I used three pieces of duct tape for each pocket. Now I'm going to work on lining the top of each pocket piece with trim. For this, you're going to cut duct tape the exact same width as each panel. And you can cut it in half or in a third. Basically, you're just going to put this on the top of the pocket piece and then you're going to flip it over and fold it over to the back but I don't like how much is hanging over so I'm going to trim a little off in this case once I've trimmed it off I'm going to just fold it over to the back this black pocket is the single pocket on this side of the wallet now we're going to put trim on the teal pieces of duct tape here so those would be on the other side of the wallet before I do that, I'm going to work on the wideness, so I'm going to trim that so they're all the same. There's just a little bit hanging over, so I'm just cutting it off to line them up more 
nicely. Once they're cut down a tad, I'm going to work on adding zebra trim. So I'm just going to take this piece of tape here and I'm going to cut it into thirds, about. It doesn't have to be exact. So you can see here I'm cutting it into three almost equal pieces. I messed up a little but it's fine because when you fold it onto the back you're not going to see that. Now I'm just placing the trim on top of each pocket piece and of course I'm folding it over to the back very nicely so there's no creases. And now I have all three teal pocket pieces lined with trim just on the top. You're going to lay the pocket pieces on in this order and then you're going to secure them to that base panel with a couple pieces of scrap tape. Now I'm going to join the entire left side of this panel. Cut a piece of tape that is the exact same height as this piece and then you're going to cut that in half. Lay that trim on the left side so a little bit is overlapping and then you're going to fold it over to the back like so. You'll see that the trim is holding the pockets down, so you're going to just make tiny cuts with your X-Acto knife in these three spots. And if you want to make them look nicer, you can add a little scrap of black tape, and you can see how I'm putting it on right here. You don't have to do this step, but I like to to make it look nicer. Now we're going to put this piece aside, and we're going to work on the other pocket panel, so just the main shell and the one pocket side and that's where that other piece of trim will come in. So again, I'm going to secure this with little scrap pieces of tape, but on this one, I'm going to lay the trim on the right side. You can see how I laid it out before to match up the fold over lines. I'm placing it on with a little bit of an overlap, and then I'm gonna fold it over to the back, like so, and just smooth it out nicely. Again, make a little incision where that pocket should be, don't cut very hard because you don't want to get through more than just that first layer of tape. I didn't show me putting them together, but both of the pieces that we just joined, I'm going to join those together. So on one side you're going to see the three teal pockets, and on the other side you should have that one black pocket. So everything we've already cut is joined together in this step. On the left side, that's where we added the trim earlier. So now we're going to join the entire thing together by cutting a piece of trim for the right side. Make it the same height, overlap it a little bit, and then fold it over to the back side. And again, I'm going to trim mine a little because I don't want it to be that long, and I'm going to just fold that over to the back. Again, you're going to have to make the little pocket incisions. Again, you can line them with the little tiny scraps of black. I didn't yet, but I will do that later. I'm just going to go on with the tutorial for now. Now flipping it over, you're going to just cut for that pocket too, and then you're going to move on to the next step, which is to join the bottom of the entire wallet together. So remove all of the scrap pieces of tape at this point, and then you're just going to line the bottom with trim the same way that you've added trim for any other step. Push it down nicely. You'll see that the left side has a pocket, but that the top is not joined yet, so that's what that last piece of trim is for. You're going to remove that scrap and just use the piece to put trim on the top of the wallet. And as usual, I usually trim some off, no big surprise here. Once you have that final piece on, it is finished and you have your half wallet, mini wallet, whatever you want to call this, card holder even. And I know a lot of you told me to add an ID pocket, but I just didn't want to go with that look. I wanted to just have a slick, non-see-through wallet. If you want to add an ID pocket or a coin pouch or anything with Ziploc, then I do have videos that show how to do that, but this is the design that I was going for with my wallet. And if you want to do that little V pocket, you can do something like that as well. Just get creative, but I really like this design. Here's what it looks like with cards stuck inside. And as I said, it's really small and compact, so it's perfect to fit in your purse or in your pockets, of course, on your jeans and then you can just go wherever you want. The last thing I did was add the bow design, which is so easy. I just drew a bow on a piece of paper, and then I'm going to cut around the entire outside outline with an X-Acto knife. Just do this very slowly and carefully. So I'm doing this on teal tape, and then I'm going to peel that tape up, and you'll reveal this bow shape. 
but I think that looks really boring so then I put a piece of white tape down and I'm just going to cut around the inside outline so I have a square and I have the line show through. You can see here what I did. I just stuck the white pieces on after I had cut them out. I didn't show the entire thing but you can kind of get the idea of what I did. So here's the complete bow pattern and here are both of the wallets next to each other so you can kind of compare how they look. I did really like the dimensions of the fossil wallet so I stuck with the dimensions but I did make a couple changes. Obviously I didn't add the little magnetic um, holder thing but if you do end up making a wallet with this kind of similar design then use hashtag SoCraftTastic on Instagram to show me. I would love to see your wallets. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Bows for the win. Is that upside down? No, it was right side up. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I put out new crafty videos every single Friday for Crafty Friday and sometimes throughout the week as well. Last week on Crafty Friday, I made a dessert video, which was a beautiful green mint cheesecake. Here are the pictures that were sent to me via Instagram, hashtag SoCraftTastic. Your cheesecakes look super yummy. Thanks for sending those photos in. I hope you guys have a great rest of the day. I'll see you soon. Bye. Whoa. And a lot of you dig it. Whoa. Burm, burm, burm. It's eyeshadow nail polish. Woo. Pew, pew, pew. Bow tie. I'm tired. Duct tape bow tie necklace. It's ridiculous. Mmm. This has a magnet. Here we go.